Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at a Kodak Instamatic model X15. Uh, this is around the 1970s time period, early 70s, that they started coming out. And it's kind of a continuation of the Instamatic line. <clears throat> Uses a cartridge of film, the 126. And. Uh, very basic controls, still very similar to the earlier uh, Instamags, but maybe a little bit more boxy, simpler design, a lot more plasticky feel to it, while still trying to maintain that kind of chrome feature kind of look with the you know, textured, uh, almost vinyl, but it's actually hard plastic. So, uh, real basic features, of course, the carry carry strap. We got our viewfinder on the left side which is direct view not over the lens which is kind of interesting. Uh, this uh, is taking advantage of the advent of the magic cube as opposed to the old flash, flash cubes. Uh, I don't happen to have any of those on hand unfortunately but uh, might be able to still find those out there as well as the cameras themselves so a little window to see uh, the progress of uh, the counter on your film here we have your film advance here we have your shutter trigger and uh, you know Kodak logo on the front Kodak uh, top I mean Kodak logo on the front there on the top and let's see. This is the arrow that indicates the direction that the cube uh, rotates around. And let's see. Yeah, it says magic cube on there. Use only. So, whereas the earlier Instamatics had the panel opener lever on the side, it's more towards the bottom here and kind of press down and it pops open to the door here's the other side of the window On the inside of the door here would be the uh, information for the instamatic itself let's see if I can move the camera and get a better look at that there a lot of reflections off this light but you can kind of see that where the panel is right there with the data on it, reading it off. I mean, I'm having a hard time seeing it. Let's see. Um, uses Kodak 126 film, the patent statement, and uh, Eastman Kodak, made in Rochester, New York, USA. So, get a look at the of it. Let's see if we can actually it, set it up. I can see if you can see the shutter activate. This time. Yeah, it's pretty quick, but this angle. Nope. It is working, but somehow the camera's just not picking it up. Oh, that there's a little bit of movement there. So it feeds like other Instamags left to right. And again, your viewfinder there. I'm trying to see. I guess a little mounting point for tripod. And uh, that's about it. Um, no need for a battery source on these since it's using the magic cubes. Uh, it's really simplified design from uh, even more so than the older Instamatics. So it's very lightweight as well. And I guess uh, they used to come with a carrying case, but uh, this one didn't come with it when I bought it used. So again, we're taking a quick look, show and tell video on the Kodak Instamatic X15. 
Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on the channel. We also do unboxing videos. And uh, we also do a selection of book review leader reviews. And also curios for the curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.